hand pastel sort of uh, give this um, sheet of paper a little bit of a, a light wash of color I'm using my little skies <coughs> I'm using a a big bigger sponge just to fill the paper a little bit quicker leaving a little bit of light just this area here because that's um, near to my focal point I'm going to do a little sunset so very quickly for you guys um, just to show you how easy it is so I'm going to add some pinks now to this uh, and a little touch of orange especially to, towards the horizon line you get that rich beautiful rich color I'm going to switch to my uh, wedge sponges now so here we go with a little bit firmer and give you a little bit more to get hold of you see the um, values increasing I want that beautiful red sort of warm hue on the horizon it's still relatively <coughs> relatively light to begin with and then I'm going to increase the values as I move into this. Okay, so so I'm going to increase a little bit of red with a little bit of magenta in this. Um, increase the value, and I'll start to create some so little sh uh, almost like cloud shapes, especially towards the horizon line I want this to be a very rich warm um, sunset so I'm keeping it really quite warm I'm going to go really rich um, with these oranges and reds towards the horizon line here. That's nice. And then I'm going to start to increase the blues and the violets in this. Okay, so use a little bit of uh, ultramarines. <coughs> Mix with that. And I'll start to put some blues. But I want to go a little bit neutral, so I don't want to go too dark. Mixes beautifully with these reds and warm colours that I've got on here. It takes it just takes the edge off that. You know, just takes the edge off. Um, and then we'll look at again. Let's increase now the values of some of these. Um, Um, clouds and see if we can up the strength let's 
Still need a little bit more red in there. Keep the context going. Army clouds building in the distance there. Still going to go even darker with these. Really, sort of quite warm, but um, quite strong as well. on the horizon because it's usually what happens with these really dark menacing clouds bubbling up along the horizon there Um, it's quite nice. Um, let me see if I get a little bit sharper, perhaps. No, nope. a bit sharper. Yeah, that's giving the sort of idea. Um, so I'm just going to drop this down a little bit here. What I'm going to do is add on a add on a little bit of interest to the um, horizon line there to uh, give us something to focus on, something quite strong. Whether it's a set of trees, I don't know. You know as long as it's dark. They can almost fade away as they go towards the edges there because it doesn't matter as much, but around the it certainly does matter around here. These marks need to be fairly dark to give us something to really focus on. Okay, Let's just put that off there, and we've got a nice horizon line. And just going to drop this down a little bit just to give that sense of depth in the water if it is water whatever it be it'll be a little bit of a little bit reflective i'm sure and that beautiful purple no doubt will reflect in that water. And just give us something to hold on to the bottom of the Painting there. A little bit more of that red, orange, just so it matches that a little bit more. Boop. 
you would take a rubber and we can take out and take out some of these reflections in the in the you can almost draw with the rubber because there's very little pastel on it. It's really nice to um, then just sketch on the surface. It, it does work really nice. And then I just a touch of yellow just to match up that paper colour there. So I'm using just a little bit of white in there. But that's pan pastel with oh, what do you think? That very simple little ten minute pastel painting and the sunset. Just made up, but um, you can see the textures of the paper against the white there and the level of uh, colour. <laughs> 